Hey y'all, I um, have been looking at a lot of videos and noticed that they had the June, I mean the different like month favorites. Um, so I decided to do my own. I think I did one for May. I don't remember. Okay. So I'm actually prepared this time. So I'm going to do a quick rundown of everything. If you have any questions or anything or you want to know about a certain product I'm going to show you, just let me know. Leave a comment and I'll be able to just go into a little bit more depth because I don't want it to be a little super long uh, video. So favorite shoe of the month is definitely my Steve Madden's. Um, literally this shoe can go spring, fall, winter, summer, or everything because you can wear it with some shorts in the uh, spring, um, a light sundress or something in the uh, summer, fall, some skinny jeans and a sweater, anything like you can just, I mean, you can really do a little bit of everything with these shoes. And these are my Steve Madden's. Um, forgot the actual name of the shoe in particular, but I'm sure you can still find something like these on um, some different websites like uh, 6 p.m. or uh, light.com, something like that. Um, for fragrances, my favorite kind of go-to everyday smell, like if you want something light but still have a little punch to it, um, is the Usher fragrance. Um, I think it's just called Usher. I don't think it's, this is the original one. Um, you can literally find this in Ross Marshalls for like $20. But this is a, a long a bottle I had a long time ago. So I've still gotten trying to use it all up. Um, and my second fragrance, like when I'm going out, is my Lola, my Marc Jacobs. And literally, like first I just wanted it because of the bottle. Look at the bottle. Like this is huge. Um, but this is a very florally scent. Um, my favorite brushes of the month were... Um, okay, stop. Okay, so a lot of people have been looking for brushes um, outside of MAC either because there's not a MAC by them or MAC is a little bit more expensive. Well, these brushes, not really dupes form. Well, they are, but they're not because they're not cheaper than MAC in a sense. But they do have a lifetime guarantee. I used to work at Ulta, so um, I got a lot of brushes with Studio Gear which is a line specifically, well it used to be just for Ulta now, I think Macy's has it and maybe Dillard's, but every now and then you'll see them on sale, but at Ulta they sometimes they have them buy one get one half off. Mac you will never see like that, you'll never see Mac if there's on sale, but this is their studio, this is studio gear, um, I've used it so much the tag is off. Um, this is by, um, I got this from Ulta, but this is their Kabuki brush, and if you could tell the bristles are lighter. They used to be white, but they're not white anymore. And then it's a really, really, really soft brush. So it's really good for um, putting powder on, blending out anything. So if I put too much blush on one day, I can just buff it out and it's perfect. Love this brush. This brush is $40. Yeah. No. Okay, either the $40 or $50, but I guarantee you I've had this for three years three years some no two and a half years and it's still perfectly normal like I wash it and it's good to go um my other studio gear brush is the number 34 and it is a blending brush so it's a dome but it's really fluffy and it is squirrel hair sorry for my animal lovers out there I love animals too but this brush is like awesome for blending um, I use it a lot and my two cheaper brushes um, for my foundation for liquid um, I use a Japanese brush hey go sorry I had to let my dogs out Japanese is right here and you can find Japanese at Ulta um, and you might be able to find it at some drugstore places. I'm not sure exactly, but I know I bought mine from Ulta. And they always have them on sale either buy two get one free or buy one you one half off. And I think Ulta has right, right has them right now buy one you one free. So they're really awesome if you want to get some good brushes for cheap. So this is the brush and it's similar. It has the like the foundation type bristles on the top. And this is like a regular powder brush. Like the bristles from like a powder brush. So when I want my foundation to be really light, what I do is, I guess I can kind of show you how my foundation I'm using. Right now I'm using um, 
organic wear, a oh, physician, physician formula organic wear in fair to light. This is their tinted moisturizer. And it has SPF 15. I mix this, put a dot of this on my finger or in my little clear bowl. And put this CoverGirl Natural Luxe um, Foundation. It also has seven, um, SPF 15 in the color. What is the color? Oh, it's in 325. And it's color um, sand. Oh, sandstone. I'm sorry. If you're my color, that's the color you probably have to put together. Because this one has a little more pink to it. And then this one has a little more yellow. And I'm not a yellow tone. I'm not completely I have a cool. And when I say pink, I mean a cool undertone. I'm kind of a neutral. So um, I mix those together with my foundation brush and do like this. And get like one mixture of color. And I do dots. And because I do have a few acne scars. My makeup is completely gone now, but I have a few acne scars, so I just I mainly concentrate on that, and then I'll use my foundation brush to kind of buff it out um, with some powder on there. Um, and also, I've been using this e.l.f. powder brush, the flat one, and this is a really, really, really good brush if in place of this one. So if you notice, the bristles are almost the exact same in length. It's just this one that has liquid bristles on top. To me, these stains, so it doesn't matter. So you can use this. This is only $3 at Target, Elf.com, or anywhere else you can find Elf. This is a perfect brush if you're trying to, like, if you're getting into makeup and you want to wear liquid, but you don't want to have anything too caked up or feel like you have a mask on. This is a perfect way for you to kind of transition into wearing uh, makeup and um, also not be melting your makeup off in the summer because it's really really hot so I can put this up my concealer on which is this Maybelline and the little the new Maybelline fit me this is in the color 20 which is sand sable and I just put my dot on each eye and just rub it in because you one thing you don't want to do and I see people do this all the time I learned this when I was at um, Ulta people have the tendency when they use their fingers especially if you're using your index finger your is your ring finger is the most tender so if you can do it now rub your hand or rub your eye like this with this finger and then rub it with this finger you can tell that this one is a lot more softer touch has a softer touch than your index finger so what happens is when you're rubbing your um, concealer in you tend to emulsify it and makes it not last as long versus when you're patting it with your ring finger it lasts a little bit longer because you're not kind of emulsifying it which basically means just melting it up um, so it's best to use a brush but if you're in habit of doing it with your hands or fingers I would definitely use your ring finger and just pat do not rub because if you're rubbing it it's going it's not going to stay all day and you wonder why at five o'clock your concealer is pretty completely gone and also just side note when you're putting on your perfume when you spray it do not rub it like this because that's emulsifying the oils also and that means it's not going to stay longer so just let it dry just let it dry and i promise you it'll stay a lot longer um as far as over uh, finishing powder i use my mac skin finish and this is in the color light medium natural and shimmer so it has the foundation on one part on this part right here and it has the shimmer on this side um blush that i've been loving um i'm going to try the nars orgasm so if anybody has a couple of those at their house send me one um but no i've been wanting to try it but i haven't been able to um break pocket and actually buy one so i've heard that this was a good dupe badass platinum is the one that actually kind of got me hip on the dupes thing um this is milani baked blush and this is in the color Luminoso. And I got this from Walgreens. And I'll just do a little swatch. Can you see it? It's like really, really pigmented. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this color. Um, 
My other favorite blush is this Simply Coral Mineral Power by Maybelline and it is so pretty. It's like a pink coral color and if I do a little swatch of it, it's almost really similar to the Luminoso but it's a little bit more pink if you can see. Okay, I know you can see the orange right there. Okay, yeah. So those are my um, favorite blushes for this month. Um, as far as eyes, my go-to colors, depending on if I'm going for a more natural look or a little bit uh, more dramatic, um, my go-to colors are going to be this color by Ulta. And Ulta, they look, the shadows look like this. And it's an apricot color. And this is in the color apricot. And right now, um, actually on Sunday, Ulta will have a big sale. So go and to Ulta on Sunday and I guarantee you will come out with some stuff. And then this other benefit loose powder called Big Daddy. And this their Lust Duster. And this is a really, really pretty color too. So if you're like one of those natural, I don't want to wear too much makeup, just put a, like a nice neutral color and then put an eyeliner on and bam, you're good to go. And this is, you see it right here. This is a nice little, no, you can't really see it. My camera's up. Also, I've been using, like if you can tell my, under my brow, it's a lot lighter. I've been using this, I'm kind of cheating. Um, I know a lot of people use concealers for like under their brows to give them more of a highlight and this is what I've been using. This Cargo lip liner. It's actually a lip liner. Let's see. It's a reverse lip liner so basically it's going to act as if it's a concealer almost. So if you see it right. Hmm, let me see if I can do it right. Actually let me just like it's right there. So you, it matches with my skin. So if, if I need to get my eyebrows done, I just go there. Um, and I just put it under there to kind of mask the extra hairs. I need to go get uh, arched. I've been using my brow definer for um, from Physician Formula in the color Black Brown. And today, if you can see, I have a, like a blue, um, blue right here and then like an orangey color. I've been, I use this pop glitter stick and it's like a cream stick so I know you can see that and I use that to put a little powder on top of it and my go-to palette is a Smashbox kit it's the artist eye palette in muse and this is what it looks like so you have blues greens purples browns and your natural light color I've been using the crap out of that color but everything else, I mean, they're really, really pigmented. I'm just going to do the darker colors so you can see. And they're really silky like MAC. So, gosh, those are so pretty. And I'm just going to swatch them. So, you can see them right there. Green, blue, and purple. Really natural colors, but they're still dramatic. Um... What if I'm missing? Oh, for skincare, if you have any breakouts, I'm gonna hurry up because I only have one minute left. Use this Origins Out of Trouble mask. Put it right on the pimple, let it dry overnight, and wash it off, and it will definitely work. It's a mask. And then for cleanser, I've been using this Finish of Clean and Clear Finishes Even Tone Cleanser. It's a foam, just bam, 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 wash it off. You will definitely tell the difference within your face within the last next couple weeks after you use it so that's all I want to show you if you have any questions about what I'm um, using for the month hit me up subscribe like favorite whatever you want to do say hi hit me up and if you have that NARS hit me up and I would be looking to do a swap don't know yet but I want some palettes um, so yeah if you want to do that hit me in the inbox bye